The app tells you everything that you need. When am I gonna get married? Will I be successful? All this information I'm gonna be sharing with you guys in all the classes, it's gonna be for free. If your ascendant is in Leo and then you have a Saturn in the seventh house and you're running a Saturn Mahadasha, then definitely you're gonna get married. Every time the Antar Dasha would move, we would be focusing on ourselves as an ascendant. We'd be focusing on our family in our second house, focusing on our siblings. We'd be buying cars. We'll be opening up a business over here. We'd be focusing on our relationship. So make sure to check it out, download the app. It's free. It's in the description box below and sign up to the Astro 101 class. Oh no. <laughs> oh no, 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 no. Libra. What is this? Death card. I want change. I need change. Change like money or I know so. Mm -mm. I don't need that. What I want is like, I need some break. I need some time to think, to process. This is just too much. Every day is just another story. Every day is just this and that and this and that. I want change. That's a death card. Okay, Libra, then let's see what this change is about. Okay, so we're going to go to your side and then your person's side. All right. I'm going to open your chart also, the Oracle deck we will use. For people who doesn't know, I do say Daryl Astrology, mm -hmm. not Western. Here we go. And for people who's interested about the story of how to be a success mm -hmm, or the tools that I use as an entrepreneur, or as a person who's like not just an entrepreneur who manifests wealth and abundance in life, I share that little secret at the end of this video. Mm -hmm. But not everybody wants that. Some people just wants to be, you know, basic. There's nothing wrong with that. Mm -hmm. That was how Libra would say it. There's nothing wrong with being basic. <laughs> Such a Libra, right, to say. Oh my God, Libra. This eclipse, you better get the app, get the trans the report, because oh boy, oh boy, oh, ooh, mm mm mm, man, okay. Eclipse, April twenty. I don't need to stress that to you guys. Every time you will see the reading, I will have to say about it. Okay. <sighs> Death card, strength, and the Three of Swords. Grant me patience. This is what you're saying here with a strength card. Um, what I forgot that mantra they say, like, you know, give me patience for the things that I can do and blah, blah, blah. I have no control. It feels like you are going to be tested relationship-wise. It will be, let's just say 2023 is something that you will never forget with regards to relationship and with regards to yourself. Because of course, solar eclipse will come to the seventh house. Lunar eclipse um, will come to you. <sighs> it feels like you're going to have a battle. Strength with the Three of Swords. It feels like Three of Pentacles with the Devil and the Hierophant. If you are in a married relationship, it feels like you will find out that your person is not honest. Venus is in the eighth right now. Eighth house is secrets. Secrecy. Twelve is also... Eighth, you will know the secret. Twelve, you take it to your grave. The eighth house secret, which is your Lagna Lord is there, you will feel also this whole like up and down. Eighth house is Ashtama. Okay. Basically, this is Ashtama uh, Shukra. Venus is in the eighth. Okay. Normally, we only look at the Ashtama Shani, which is like Saturn transit eighth from us because it is a struggle. But I also look at it when your Lagna Lord is in the eighth. It's somewhat equivalent to Saturn because the the Graha, meaning the planet that rules and helped you right now is going to its transformation. It's just like, oh my God, Sal. <laughs> it's like, help me. This is what's going to happen here. You would need to focus on your health. Jupiter is going in Gandanta. Jupiter rules your sixth house. So there's can be okay issues in the stomach, in the belly here. I need you to check that. Okay, I need you to stop eating spicy food. I need you to do your fasting. It's even better. Okay, but as relationship go towards the seventh house, we have a Guru Chandal Yoga. Okay, Guru is Jupiter, Chandal is like, uh, you know, is Rahu, the outsider. So there is this deception that you will see. Okay, and as Jupiter comes there, you will see that there was some sort of manipulation. 
and it does show in the carbs. Now, I'm going to be honest with the Libra over here. This is going to be in the next four months, okay? Until the nodes basically are out of your seventh house. They won't be out until October. And you're watching me, what, April, May, June, July, August. So there's six more months of this enduring time. Mm -hmm. Difference of when I do astrology is I can tell you the timing of events, okay? With tarot, we can't. That's why, you know, for me, it's very important that you know your chart in the app, in the description. So you will know what is your dasha also, very important. So you are entertaining this person, Libra. Oh, and not everybody can understand this because this is, you know, I'm reading for specific people, okay? Mm. Three of Swords with the, with the, with the Hierophant. There's a married union here or a relationship that look at that. Three of Swords. It's uh, plain and simple. Betrayal of, tar of trust over here. Hierophant and the Three of Swords. Death, uh, death um, the devil is deception. Three is, a, uh, three is a crowd with the Three of Pentacles. On your person's end here. Okay, um, I feel like you're trying to stay away. For now, um, oh, and then for people who's wondering about reading, if it doesn't have your name, leave the rest to other people. You don't have to own the whole reading. You're not the only Libra that was born. There are other Libras also who's watching. Okay, so you don't have to say that's not me. That of course it's not you. It doesn't have your name, <laughs> Libra. There is a chunk of Libra in the world. <laughs> You have the hangman, the uh, hermit, and the king of swords. Your person right now is thinking of coming back after a long time of ghosting. You got eight of cups over here, and then you have the hermit. Mm. And the wheel of fortune and the six of cups. This is getting spicy over here. Fate has decided to bring a person who you have a karmic connection Six of Cups from past life to surface. Venus in the eighth. Okay. Venus is the only planet that can bring back the dead. And I always say that. Meaning in in before time, it really brings back the dead. But for me, I believe that love never dies. It never dies. Which only means Venus, planet of love, when it's in the eighth, you thought we're done. Your person now comes around. Unpredictable eighth house. Yes, hangman over here, upside down. Scorpio got the same thing. Their Lagna Lord is in the eighth. Hmm. Whoo! Soulmate. And what did I say? What did I say, Libra? A person from your past life. I feel like. Let's do this as a card to focus. Your soulmate. Rahu in the seventh. Okay. Bring someone who can be karmic to you. I always look at this like the, the I thought that the penguin was eating eight one one of the penguin's head. I thought that the hearts was blood. You know? Because that's how basically we all look at things different. That's how I was like, oh my god, this is so brutal. Look at the penguin, it's headless. And then when I look at it closely, it's like, wait, they're leaning to each other. And then that's when I learn, we look at situation different. And we only see what we want to see. So I didn't know why I wanted to see a dead penguin. <laughs> but which one, what did you see in the oracle though? Did you see two penguins? Is it blood? Is it a heart? Is it love? No, I, I was being honest with that one. Mm -hmm. That's what I saw. It's like, oh my God, it's crazy. This is too graphic. But it wasn't. Okay, so chances are we may have jumped into conclusion too fast, too soon, that we didn't allow our mind to have a clear understanding, which means in this relationship, you are trying to find an answer. Why is this person who broke your heart will come around, even asking Hermit over here, talking to you and expressing themselves? Okay. Now, when the eclipse happens, Libra, it's going to be in the next three months. So a lot of people um, feel like um, readings are Burger King. You know, they want to have it the way that they want it. 
Yeah, that, you know, remember that jawline that you like, you never got it, right? Remember that nose that you want, you never got Life is not Burger King, okay? <laughs> you gotta wait it out. That jawline will come for you, okay? Imagine, okay? And deep knowing. Your person right now and you, I feel like, are connecting on a different level, okay? So they have been thinking about you. Mm -hmm. You've been thinking about you. I feel like you're more on the I'm releasing, I'm letting go. But I don't think so. When Jupiter goes to the seven, it's the karka for the spouse. Woo! Four of Wands. We got another. I'm going to use this a card of focus also. Man, Libra. We are going for it here. Four of Wands with, because that's a flipper. Okay. Four of Wands with a soulmate. Okay. People look at it. Um, also here, like, you think that's a couple? No. That's the welcoming party. You think of it as perspective you're going in. You're going into the fourth ones. You are being celebrated. The two of you are celebrating, coming in, and people are welcoming, basically, this union. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Next 30 days on each side. What will happen? Okay. And then... Best course of action also on each side. All right. So relationship is big focus for you. Out of the Aries and Libra is the one that needs to get their total eclipse um, report. Out of the, um, you know, out of all the uh, zodiacs. Because the nodes are within the two, the two signs. Your future with your person if there is. Okay. Okay. You guys are not talking, huh? The eclipse is coming. You will already feel this change, this up and down, page of cups with the sun. A message will come from them. <laughs> what did I say? A message. Ace of cups. Under the eight of cups. Libra. Four of cups. This person was rejected before. But who is this with the full card? Someone who you thought the fool, the four of ones, is soulmate. Not just you thought. You know it's a soulmate. But you thought that it was over because your death card is your first card. Well, I feel like your whole world is about to flip. Mm -hmm. Follow me. Link in the description box below. And next to this is a secret to my manifestation. Let me share with you guys the secret sauce to my success. These are different crystals. Well, this is one crystal that I've been using since I started my YouTube channel. But there are different prices. But then I made something. Well, I'm going to share it to you right now. So first, I use citrine for the past four years. So natural citrine and even um, heated citrine. So I go for any of those. Now, the thing is with citrine, there are different price range. And then citrine is actually a substitute gemstone for yellow sapphire. I've gone from yellow sapphire to natural citrine to citrine also where it is heated. All works the same for me, so I'm just sharing the tea with you. So first, um, gemstone that I've used, this, because citrine is like a gemstone of Jupiter, so growth, expansion. So I got this like probably um, around $175. So this one is made of silver. You can see that it's already like tarnished. So this one is really old. Then I opened my store with this one. Now this one is yellow, sapphire, expensive. $3,500 custom, um, three carat uh, yellow sapphire there. So blemish free also. Good for Jupiter, remedy, expansion, growth, money, success, even attracting spouse because Jupiter is the carca for the spouse. You see that? So I wasn't attracting a spouse though. So I was attracting more money. So let's be honest here. Then that one is $3,500. This one is $450. Still expensive. You know, it's like, ah, we need to come up with something that everybody can basically wear. So I got citrine. I make it myself. Okay. I don't have it now with me because I put it already in the store. So I make this beaded bracelet together with the Piao. So you've seen me using the Piao. I rub the Piao and it attracts your clients, your growth, success removes obstacles also. And it's also very, very protective. So now it's available. 
Um, you can check it out on our website, eatreadlove.me. It is in our latest collection. So you can check out now our Citrine PL.